this video we will see equivalence class concept in the relation so let r be an equivalence relation on set a comma for every a belongs to the set a let element a subscript r denotes an equivalence class denotes an equivalence class define as define as a set set with elements a which belongs to the set a and small a is related to x what it means is r be an equivalence relation on set a consider then for for every element belongs to the set A, for every element to belong to the set A, let A of R denotes an equivalence class. Now, meaning is for every element there exists an equivalence class. For every element there exists an equivalence class, which is defined as a set which contains element X, which are from the set A itself. Okay. And A is the element for whom you are writing equivalence class a is related to x meaning is equivalence class for an element contains a set of elements to which it is related let us understand by an example suppose set a contains elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 and relation r is defined as repairs 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3 and 1 comma 3. So what is equivalence class for this relation? So according to the definition equivalence class exists for every element in the set. So first element in the set is 1. So equivalence class to write equivalence class for 1 I should write bracket 1 subscript r equal to. Now see from the relation I need to find to whom element 1 is related. 1 is related to 2. So 2 will be there in equivalence class of 1. 1 is related to 3. Means 3 will be there in equivalence class of 1. Right. Now equivalence class of 2. What is equivalence class of so 2 is related to whom from the relation, from the relation if you see 2 is related to only 3. So 3 will be there in equivalence class of 2. And last what is equivalence class of 3. So 3 is related to whom from the relation if you observe 3 is not related to any element. So this will be the empty one. So there is no equivalence class exist for element 3. Also we need to remember number of distinct equivalence classes number of distinct equivalence classes from relation r or on relation r it's called rank of relation number of distinct equivalence classes on given relation r is called as an rank of relation so let us understand by one more example let us say the question ask is find the rank of the relation define on set a elements a comma b comma c and relation r is given as a comma a b comma b c comma c 
a comma b and b comma a so to find out rank of the relation i should find first the equivalence class of every element so first element in the set is a what is equivalence class of a so a is related to whom a is related to a a will be there in its equivalence class a is related to b so b will be there in its equivalence class then what is equivalence class of b so b is related to whom b is related to b so b will be there in its equivalence class again b is related to a so a will be there in his equivalence class so this b comma a i can write as a comma b itself and what is equivalence class of c last element in the set so c is related to only c so single element in his equivalence class so now I want to find the rank of this relation. So rank of the relation is number of distinct equivalence classes. So equivalence class of A is A comma B. Equivalence class of B is again A comma B and equivalence class of C is C. So number of distinct equivalence classes are two only so because equivalence class of A and B are same. So hence I should count as one and equivalence class of C contains different element, number of elements. So it, it will count as one. So number of distinct equivalence classes are two, hence the rank of this relation becomes two. Now let us see one more example on partial order relation. Partial order relation suppose a set given contains elements 1 2 3 4 6 9 12 relation r is defined as a comma b where a divides b And we need to show we need to show R is partial order. R is partial order relation. So first of all, let us write the pairs possible. Relation is given as A divides B. So every element divides itself so i can write directly 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 6 6 9 9 and 12 12 right then one divides every element so i can write 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 6 1 comma 9 1 comma 12 right then take next element see how you should take the pairs start from 1 1 divides check with whom next element take as 2 2 divides whom so 2 divides 4 2 divides 6 2 divides 12 right then next take next element as 3 from the set A so 3 divides whom? 3 divides 6, 3 divides 9, 3 divides 12. Take next element 4, 4 divides whom? 4 divides 12. Take next element 6, 6 divides only 12. Next element is 9, 9 divides none of the element from the into set A. So that's it. Right, these are the possible pairs. Now to check whether it's partial order, we need to check the three properties: reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive. So let us check reflexive. So for every element A in the set, for every A in the set, A comma A is there in relation R. Element contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, and 1, 1, 2, 2 up to 12, 12 are there. Hence you can say it is an 
reflexive relation. Check for anti-symmetric property. Now, whether this is anti-symmetric? Yes, anti-symmetric is a comma b belongs to R, then b comma a does not belongs to R unless a equals to b. Means one one two two are allowed. So if one comma two is there, two comma one should not be there. It is not there. One comma three is there. Three comma one should not be there. It is not there. So likewise, if you check, right, it satisfies the anti-symmetric property. And here you can write for a comma b belongs to R, b comma a does not belongs to R. Or you can also mention an example like two com uh, one comma two belongs to R, and two comma one does not belongs to R. Hence, it's an anti-symmetric relation. And the last property that we need to check is whether this is an transitive relation or not. So to check. See one two if I consider one two, one two and let us say two six, one two and two six. So one two two six means one six should be there. One six is there. Yes, it is there. Right. So again, uh, one more possible combination: three six and six twelve. Three six six twelve. Means three twelve should be there. Three twelve is there. It is there. So likewise, all possible combination. If you check, right, it satisfies the transitive property as well. And hence, I can write for a comma b belongs to R and b comma c belongs to R. Comma a comma c also belongs to relation R. For example, also you can write like. Three six and six twelve belongs to R, and also B comma twelve belongs to R. And last, we can write answer as relation R is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive. It is partial order relation. It is partial order relation. Okay. And also remember one thing: this partial order relation is also called as an poset. That is partially order set. At the top, I have written this partial order relation is also called as an poset and usually denoted by the symbol. Like this, less than or less than equal to, but it it doesn't mean uh, less than equal to is the relation. Relation may be defined like this: a divides b. So for partial order relation, sometimes people call, uh, let us say, the poset is defined like this. So remember, this point is valid.